All right, guys, welcome back to the Century Farm Organics YouTube page. Um, today we have kind of a fun one, one I kind of look forward to every year in the spring and fall. So we have our uh, organic seed test plot that we do for our corn. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, there's we have 24 different hybrids out here. So anywhere from Viking to Great Harvest to some prairie hybrids that we're trying for the first time this year. So the reason why this is kind of exciting is uh, there's not actually a lot of information out there about organic seed and how they perform and stuff like that. So we on our farm like to always be testing things and trying new things and seeing what's gonna work for us. So this is just one of the many things that we do. So we're out here today harvesting our test plot. Um, we didn't get any footage of us planting it. It was just kind of chaotic and we had a lot of people here. But yeah, as you can see, we're running the combine is way down at the end. We're doing a half of an acre test plot for each one of these uh, hybrids. So we're, we're not just doing a short little test plot either. We're doing a, we're getting a good layout of how this corn's gonna perform. Cause we started out kind of on a hill right here. And yeah, we go way back down into the bottom down there where hopefully it's pretty good. But as you can see, did some okay weed control. So where, where we have grass like this, this is one problem on our farm that we're finding out this, well, we've kind of always known it, but we're finding out more so this year. See, as you get into the corn, we actually do a pretty decent weed control. So, yeah, that looks pretty good in there, don't it? Next row over, pretty good weed. So we have pretty good weed control right on the, uh, once we get going into the field. That issue right here with this grass is simply just from our rotary hose, when we're taking off and starting going down the rows and we just get flying, that's simply just from not going fast enough when we start rotary hoeing. So we have to figure out a way to uh, fix that issue. So yeah, we're gonna maybe make bigger turnarounds on our end of our fields. We'll have a lot of topics of discussion for us as a farm this winter to see what we should work on and do better and try to always be better at. So. Yeah, here comes Sean back from, he harvested one variety and so now we're gonna dump it on our seed tender. So the combine is getting information from each hybrid and mapping it and now the, we have the seed tender that we're gonna dump, so. We're gonna dump onto the seed tender and verify these weights. So we're starting out at zero. Like I said, we have a few tests done. So yeah, just kind of one of those fun jobs that we get to participate in and kind of been looking forward to this whole week so all right so i maybe realized that i didn't explain some things as good as i should have for maybe non-farmers but this test plot we are going to be measuring the the yield of the corn we are going to be measuring the test weight the moisture and the harvestability, the standability, and that, those are just kind of visual tests, the uh, standability one and the 
we're just going to kind of evaluate the plant's health and yeah i think that's it test weight uh moisture in the corn and yield are our big three but we also like to know standability and one other one is we're also just kind of looking at our weeding we're maybe more so evaluating that for ourselves maybe not for the companies that or people that we share our yield information with and we're kind of an open book we'll share it with anyone i guess so but yeah so we're just right now offloading the last variety that sean harvested so yeah it's kind of a fun little task to see how things are going up and maybe break up a little monotony of the harvest season so yeah we're gonna take we take samples of every variety and then yeah that's what we will test for in our ziploc bag so
All right, guys. Uh, yeah, we're still out here working on the test plot, so we got one variety left to pick. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys kind of a tour a little bit. It's kind of unique. I know every farm doesn't quite do things like this. So we got this on about uh, 20 acres, I think, maybe a, just a hair over. So yeah, we're just still plugging away at the plot, kind of have some exciting information. We'll get that documented and kind of on maybe a little bit more professional paper. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, we plant 95 to 104 is maybe pushing it for us. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we should be planting, then let us know. We'll gladly try to get some in our plots. And yeah, if we, so let's say we find a variety that's pretty good in our plot. I mean, we won't plant the whole farm to it either. So we'll just go out and probably, you know, step it up a little bit. So it'll be in the plot one year and then maybe next year we'll put 20 acres of it in or so. We don't put all of our faith in just what the plot results are. Like if one corn doesn't show up in the plot, that's okay because if it shows up on our farm time and time again, some corns just aren't plot corns. And I don't know what brings that about, but sometimes that's just how things go. So yeah, some we do have some proven varieties that just work on our farm and we're probably not gonna go away from them too much. So yeah, that's just kind of how we run our plot and we're always, we're always looking for new and exciting ways to do things so and try new things so if you guys have any suggestions put comments in the links and we'll gladly reply to anything you guys got um yeah we just want to stay current and stay relevant and just kind of keep on going so that'll probably end it for this video hopefully it's not too boring but yeah, just kind of few action shots and just kind of how we do things. Uh, so yeah, we'll just keep plucking away at harvest.